This is Big Mike and, and I'm Kiki here with another Snacks on Snacks Snackman that we have for you guys today. Hopefully our audio is fixed. So <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Yes. Thank still you for learning. still being here. Thank you for still being here with us. All right, we got a couple of, uh, we're going to switch it up today. We're going to do um, three Flamin' Hot series snacks that we found. Um, one is going to be the Flamin' Hot Doritos Limon. I know you guys have seen that commercial with Post Malone. I have to try it. Just, I just had to try it. Just yep. because I've seen that commercial. So I'm going to try that for you guys. What else we got, Keeks? We also have the Lay's Flamin' Hot Dill Pickle, and I'm super excited for that because I love pickles and I love anything I'm Flamin actually kind of interested in that one too as well. I'm really excited. Two of my favorite things. And then we also have the Flamin' Hot Cheetos Mac and Cheese. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, let's try it, man. Yeah. I'm trying. We actually have some pre-made already when I want to eat it hot. Yes. So we're just going to dive right into it. It uh, it is not that. the regular Mac. It looks like the twist. What are the twisted noodles called? I don't. I don't even know. They're the little spiral. The spiral noodles. But all right, let's try it out. Let's see how it goes. Man, mm -hmm. that's actually pretty good. Oh wow! It definitely tastes. It definitely has the flame and hot taste. Yeah, definitely. It definitely tastes like hot Cheetos. Um, but I don't. It's good. It's good. I just feel like it should still be the macaroni noodles, just like the normal craft macaroni. You gotta cheese. have mac and cheese as the macaroni elbow noodles. You, yeah. you gotta do it. Yeah, because it's um, just it's different. But the noodles are good. Mm -hmm. The sauce is good too. Oh, and it definitely has that kick. It has that kick. Once you keep eating it. <coughs> you okay? Oh, that one got me. Okay. Yeah, once you it's, keep it's really eating good, it. really tasty, guys. It has that classic flame and hot flavor. Um, you know what? I found that at Walmart. If you're in Walmart, just give it a try. Pick up a box. Try it for yourself. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and recommend it. It actually is pretty tasty. It's not yeah. the traditional mac and cheese, but it has that flame and hot kick in it. It's actually really good. Not too spicy for me. Is it too spicy for you? It's not too spicy. It's the, it's the, it's the perfect spice. It's just very, it's not appealing to the eye. I mean, it's bright red. It's gooey looking. Yeah. It, Seems like it's wrong, but it Do tastes not spill really this. Good. It's gonna stain yeah. whatever you touch. Just like the way it does your fingers. Yeah, do not spill Ooh, yeah. do this. Right? Yeah. But in any way, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a B plus. I'm gonna give it a B plus. It could be spicer. It has that classic um it has that classic flame and hot flavor. Yeah. It also has that classic tastes like a mac and cheese box. Mm -hmm. Um you know it's good, it's good for a quick snack, you know. Get in there. What do you think? Yeah, I'd probably give it a solid A. I love the flavor. I just I love anything flaming hot, and yeah. it stays true to the flavor for sure. Um, but yeah, I would definitely pick this up again. Great for lunches. Yeah, cool. All right, let's head into our next one. Uh, you want to go pickle or you want to go limon? Let's go ahead and try the pickles. All right, let's try the Why pickle not? one out. Why not? So these are the Lay's flaming hot dill pickles. I wonder if it's going to taste Ooh. more heavy on the pickle. I, I actually like good pickles. They um, smell dill pickly. Do they? Yeah. Ooh. That smells like, yeah, that smells like a jar of pickles just opened up. Yeah. Um, classic Lay's. Ooh. Good tart from the pickles. Wow. You definitely taste the dill pickle. Definitely taste it. It's in there. It's the first thing I taste, and then it comes with a little bit of the heat right after. Yep, I'm getting that heat right now. It's kind of a slow burn. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not very, it's not a powerful heat, but mm. it's right there. Right there to follow the dill. For That's sure. It's actually pretty tasty. Yeah, it's not. It's something nice. to snack on at the beach, snack on Ooh, yeah. at home. You know, it's, it's a really good snack, basically. Yeah. I approve these mm. ones because, yeah, it's not overwhelming. It's not too much dill pickle. It's not too much spice. They did really well as far as the ratio goes. Yeah, like very good said, ratio. Like we said, great at the beach. I could definitely see that. <coughs> put these in a sandwich. Rumble. Yes, put these in a sandwich. Fire. Yeah, they're really, really tasty, guys. Mm -hmm. I, um, personal preference to me, I enjoy them. I would probably give them like a, a B, a, another B plus. I give them a B plus. They could be a little bit spicier. I love my heat, uh, but you know that dill pickle actually just 
hits differently. For it me. does. It does hit differently. I I probably give it a, a B plus as well. It's it's good. It's light. It's airy. It's flavorful. I think you can't go wrong with these. Yeah, I've seen this at a lot of different other stores. So you can probably pick this up pretty much anywhere that sells groceries. Yeah. Um, but you know what? Pick up a bag, try it for yourself. That dill pickle. If you like pickles, that's that's for you. Yeah. That is definitely for, sure. for you. Now I've seen the Post Malone commercial about 50 times just this week. So this has been on my mind uh, even through my vacation I just had. Uh, Doritos, flaming Hot Limon. We already know how the, uh, oh, hopefully this doesn't spill everywhere. Okay. Um, we already know how the Hot Cheeto one comes up with their uh, Limon version. You know, I'm kind of curious to see how Doritos follows that up with it. Yep. They have actually a pretty good flaming Hot Nacho one. Uh, but I have to try out the limon one. I'm a big fan. See. Oh, they smell lime. Like a very big hint of lime. Mm hmm. Very heavy on the lime. Mm. That's actually really good. Has that. Has a really good acidic lime to it with the flaming hot heat that comes out the end. It's a little bit spicier than the dill pickle These one. These are spicy. But. It really blends really well with the limon. It's actually really not bad. Yeah, it's these really are good. really, really good. The limon to flame and hot ratio, excellent. Of course, you get the Doritos chip. Any type of Doritos is really good. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is just, it's it gives you enough spice, but again, just like the Lay's, it's very light. It's not overwhelming. These would also be really good in a sandwich as well. If you just made like, you know, a nice simple sandwich, add a couple chips in there, these would be perfect. The lime is yeah. like the perfect complement to the It is hot. a really good complement mm -hmm. to these chips. I'm actually impressed with this line of Doritos that they came out with. Mm -hmm. um, I I always love when new Doritos comes out with new flavors. They always seem to come out with really good stuff that balances really well with the, with their corn, oh, the corn tortilla chips that they have. This one right here is this, I give it like an A. It's really, really yeah. good. It's a solid product. I hope it stays around. Yeah, I'd give it an A as well. I'll definitely be picking this up again, as well as all of these. All of these were really, really great. These did not disappoint. I think they're all, they all just hit differently. They're all hot chips, hot um, noodles. But they're a different type of hot, different type of spice, different textures. Absolutely. You get the whole palette going. There, you can't you can't go wrong with any of these, and you can get them anywhere basically. Yeah, uh, I really like these selections. They came out pretty well. I, we just found them in the store randomly, just trying to think outside the box here. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? I feel like this line right here is a complete success. Everything they have here is pretty freaking good. Flaming hot just goes well with almost everything. You it's can, legendary. I haven't found one flaming Hot thing that I did not like. Yeah. Um, so, but you know what? Thank you for tuning in with us. Thank you yep. for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Um, thank you for sticking around with us for our fourth episode. We've got a couple more episodes coming up, including a uh, loser packy challenge. Loser has to take a packy hot chip um, challenge that we're, that we're coming up with. We don't know. We're going to go head to head on that one. Yep. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that um, just to see uh, who's going to lose on that one. So um, uh, I, I, I definitely <laughs> I don't want to take that. But you know what? We're here to go head to head with it. Yep. Um, but we want to thank you guys for watching and thank you for uh, subscribing with us. And we love you guys. Thank you, Snackers. See you next time. Bye.